All right, welcome back, sophomores. So this is just a quick follow-up to some of our unknown words, mainly the Everest phrases that Eric uses in his excerpt. I want to elaborate just a little bit to give us some clarification. In my last video, I read the entire excerpt to you, and I kind of modeled a chart on Google Doc. Right? Some of these are vocabulary words that... I'd like you to look up on your own, right? Apprehension, ambient, arduously, descent versus ascend. Um, traverse was another one. Goad and corniced. Right now I'm going to address um, the... Phrases like call, leeward, crampons, south summit, summit, back in balcony, base camp, camp two, Hillary step, lotsy face, and then Sherpa and Sherpa prayer flags. Um, we're going to do a fun lesson um, this week on Sherpas. It's a really interesting and fascinating culture. So let me jump back to our slideshow. So there are some words already defined for you um, in the slideshow. You're welcome to, to take from this as well. So a summit, the word summit, it just means highest point. Okay, so there's many summits around the world, many high points. In our case, when our author or our speaker refers to a summit, they're talking about um, the top of Mount Everest, okay? We also have call, C-O-L. It just means the lowest point on the mountain. Leeward, away from the wind. So this is really fun. This crampon. Maybe you knew what it was ahead of time. A crampon is just what you see. It is a, a climbing mechanism that attaches to your shoe. And it has spikes. You can see from the picture on the left with the black shoe, um, it attaches with those like blue straps. And the picture on the right shows it in use. So you can literally walk up mountains with these crampons. Pretty cool. So where is Everest? Let's get some background, some quick background. Everest is in Nepal. You can see from that yellow map. So noticing right here, we have where it's located in our world, right? If we were to look on the globe. So it's right above India and you can see it right here in Nepal. There's Mount Everest. We have India here and China above it. So for my geography people, for my visual people, this is where we are looking. Now let's get an even closer view. A co it costs to climb Everest $60,000 per person. Holy moly, that's more than teachers make in a year. <laughs> Fun fact. Climbers are typically sponsored. I know Eric referenced being sponsored. And we climb up this way. I say we, I mean us as we study. We climb up this southeast ridge because it's easiest. If we were in school, um, each of us would get a copy of this map, okay? And when we do our virtual tour of Everest, we're going to um, be able to see what it's like in some images. It's pretty crazy in a really cool way. At the bottom, you will notice base camp, okay? Base camp. This is where Miss Stillwell would chill. I would be hanging out at base camp, enjoying the views. <laughs> That's about as far as I would go. And then you notice it's called Kumbu Ice Falls. It's a treacherous, treacherous path. We have Camp 1. We climb to Camp 2. 
Camp 3 and the LOTC face. You can see that on the map. We climb to Camp 4. We have the South Call. And then we make it to the top, the South Summit. One way up and one way down. Here's another view. Okay. Just a really fun map um, of Everest. Make sure your charts have been filled out and make sure they're shared with me for a grade. <laughs>